Good evening and welcome to the evening edition of Midweek Manna. I pray that this message will bless you whenever you listen to it, whether it be morning, uh, afternoon, evening, or even overnight, uh, that this word will uh, bless you in some way and help you continue to live on this journey God has placed you on. Today is our last uh, day on the book of James, and it's been great uh, doing this for you all. Uh, it reminds me of how practical the, the book of James is, and even though we've only touched the surface, I really, really encourage you to actually read it for yourself. It's a great book, and it's wonderful, uh, especially for those of us who are trying to live like Christ every day of our lives. And so this evening, I want to talk about uh, James in connection to when he talks about how to love others and not to judge other people. You know, it's so easy to uh, decide and make a judgment on how people look, uh, how they sound, how they dress, um, how they carry themselves, what they drive, uh, what kind of job they work in. But God tells us we are to love everybody and we're not to judge anybody because judging is for God to do. As followers of Christ, our job is to love our siblings regardless of them. You know, I think the hardest part in the world for some people is to acknowledge that homeless people have a soul. And if you've ever talked to homeless people, they are sometimes the closest people to God that I've ever talked to, even those who have been uh, in the life of Christ for years. But a homeless person really does understand God and Christ and really the Holy Spirit. And so as we continue to love each other, I, I wanna read a scripture to you from, from the book of James. Uh, James chapter four, verses 11 through 12. And it says, let me find it. I apologize for not having it up already. I thought I would. Okay, James 4, 11 through 12 says, Do not speak evil against one another, brothers and sisters. Whoever speaks evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver and judge who is able to save and to destroy so who then are you to judge your neighbor? God is the ultimate uh, judge on how we live and how uh, we carry ourselves. It is so much easier to love people than it is to hate people. So I challenge us all to try and be better about uh, accepting people just the way they are, meeting people just where they are. I thank you for hanging out with me this month on the book of James, and I look forward to whatever God leads me to uh, begin next Wednesday, and if you would, pray with me. God, I thank you for this time and opportunity that uh, I've had to share just a little bit about the book of James with, with people, and I pray that whenever uh, someone listens to this message, that they will be blessed by it, that they will uh, get something from it, that they may hear your voice and not mine as they listen to it. God, I continue to lift up to you, those of us who are who are sick in our bodies, mind, and spirit. I ask right now, God, you be with the member of our campus whose mother has been taken to hospice and has been given 48 hours to live. Be with that family right now, God. Be with the son as he grieves with his mother. And be with the mother, too, God. If it is her time to transition to you, I pray that her time will be as pain-free as possible. Thank you, God, for being our creator for loving us just as we are and for creating us in your image. I thank you and I praise you for all that is holy, especially with Jesus Christ. Amen. And I say, I hope you enjoyed this time and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday, next Wednesday, excuse me, for Midweek Manor. Bye-bye.